Hi there. Uh, welcome to this video where I'll be explaining how to check the contributor guide on the documentation. Again, an incredibly short video, but one that I think is important to uh, do early in this series. Um, so let's open up a browser. Um, let's start off on the home website. That's a good place to go to because it has links for everything else. Let's then go to the docs. And um, the docs are actually um, in a kind of turbulent state at the moment. Um, so there's a few fixes that need doing, but something that will remain the case regardless is under this guides section, there will be um, a section which is something along the lines of contributing to Ivy. Uh, this section is actually about to expand a lot and will include um, a lot of uh, different pages similar to the current blog series on Medium, which again, um, you can, um, sorry, I'm using a guest account, so I never have anything memorized, um, any search history. Um, so yeah, the current blog series on Medium here um, is um, quite extensive. There's lots of um, sub series on building blocks and explaining everything. This will all very soon be in the guides as well. But yeah, so maybe by the time you're watching this, this may well be the case already, but there'll be definitely a page on contributing or something along these lines. And this has um, the most up-to-date information. Um, these YouTube videos hopefully will remain relevant and useful, but of course they are not as easy to update. So um, always uh, use the documentation here as the kind of ground truth. Um, check the corrections, as I said on the previous video, um, and yeah, so this is just basically a point to make here, um, that this is a very useful place to go to. And at the time of recording, we have um, a section on array API standardization, which is something that we're working on right now, but that will change as things progress, obviously. Instructions to keep your fork updated, creating pull requests, a general notes on the design of um, Ivy submodules, um, Ivy's API, backend API. So this is like, generally a good place to go for very general contributor information which is not specific to any particular task that we may be working on at the current point in time. Um, I think that will do for this video. Again, I will keep it quite short. Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.